We won't have any of that this year. It is just about time to roll out the red carpet. The first major award show of the season is tonight, and it is the Golden Globes. And the critics' darling, Lincoln, is expected to take home quite a few of those golden statuettes. Take a look. Its first common notion is this. Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. Daniel Day-Lewis playing Lincoln there. To discuss tonight's awards, I'm joined by Us Weekly senior editor Bradley Jacobs and the editor-in-chief at alwaysalist.com, John Murray. Good morning to both of you. Good um, morning. Big night tonight. I know you guys are excited. So let's start talking about the hosts here. Uh, a lot of excitement about Tina Fey and Amy Poehler uh, hosting together. They even put together um, a drinking game. Bradley, to you first on this, how do you think they're going to do? I can't wait to see these two. I love their movies together, Baby Mama and Mean Girls. They have great chemistry. They're great friends. And yes, I'm ready to drink every time an actress gets choked up on stage or maybe every time she thanks her hairstylist but not her husband. <laughs> uh, these two are always, uh, you know, they're a riot. Their tongue is firmly planted in cheek. I think that they are perfect hosts and they might just dial it back a little bit from Ricky Gervais and all the stuff that got him in so much trouble uh, a couple years ago. Yeah, they do have a great sense of humor together. John, what do you think? How will they do? Randy, I think we're going to get double for our trouble tonight. We're going to get like the Lucy and Ethel, Laverne and Shirley of comedy on this show. Um, you know, I'm excited about the drinking game, though I don't drink, and I suggest that Robert Downey Jr. and Lindsay Lohan maybe not partake <laughs> either. They've had some troubles, but it's going to be fun, it's going to be lighthearted, and we know they're going to bring the comedy. All right, let's get to some of the nominees here. Uh, best drama in a movie, uh, certainly uh, Lincoln. Is, uh, is a lot of the talk on that one. Bradley, what do you think? Will, will it take, who will take it home? Absolutely. Uh, of course, Daniel Day-Lewis for his method portrayal of Abraham Lincoln. I was reading that uh, Daniel was in character the entire time and it wasn't until the movie, the very last take was finished that he actually thanked Steven Spielberg in his actual English accent and it made Steven cry yeah. for months and months. He was Abraham Lincoln and that really resonates uh, throughout the film. I mean, it's it's a class A performance that is really unbeatable. Does he have any competition, John, as a movie in terms of if, the drama? If anything else wins in that category, I think it would be an upset of the night. Lincoln has great momentum going into tonight, and I think it's going to take on the top prize. All right. What about uh, TV? That's also a big category at the Golden Globes. Um, so, John, I'll go to you first on this one. Who's your pick uh, for best TV show, drama and comedy? Uh, Downtown Abbey for drama, I mean, people are so excited about this show. It developed a cult following. You know, I consider myself a, a British rock star in my former life, so I, too, have become a fan of the show. Uh, and for comedy, Modern Family. I mean, people are in love with this show. It breaks all the rules. It's broken all the stereotypes. It, tr it truly is the new format for comedy on television. What about Homeland, uh, Bradley? Yeah, I, I have two, I actually have two different picks. I think for drama, you're going to see Homeland win. I mean, Downton Abbey is just uh, maybe a teeny bit too small still to win. I think uh, Homeland, though, has all the buzz in this category uh, for a second year in a row. I, I can't hear enough good things about it. Uh, and then in the comedy department, though, I'm going to go with Girls this year. This is been my favorite show of the last year. Modern Family has won a bunch of times. Now it's time for something fresh. Lena Dunham created a niche. You know, everyone wants to create something new about New York and young people and especially women. And it wasn't, it took 10 years to come up with a new Sex in the City and Lena came up with it. And it's not Sex in the City. It's a whole different thing, but it's, uh, it's totally enjoyable. And I, I really think uh, you're going to see that win tonight and maybe Lena as well. Yeah, yeah, she's so talented. Um, what, what is it about the Golden Globes, do you think? I mean, it, it's just so much more of a party than, you know, the, the Oscars even. Yeah, well, well that's you know, the Ricky joy Gervais, of it. <laughs> John, you go. R R Ricky Gervais put it best uh, when he hosted a few years ago. He said, the Golden Globes are to the Oscars what Kim Kardashian is to Kate Middleton. It's a bit louder. It's a bit more expressive. <laughs> expressive. It's a bit drunker. I mean, they're, they're serving champagne and wine all night, Randy. I mean, these people have starved to get into these dresses and these tuxedos. So all that booze and no food, you know what type of party you're going to get. Yeah, because everybody sits at tables there. It's much more, uh, much more social. The whole thing is just a completely different story. I mean, it's a different animal. As you say, you're sitting at tables. They're all hobnobbing with each other. It's much more relaxed. The Oscars is super uptight. 
basically every guest at the Oscars has his or her own security person with yeah. them. And the Golden Globes is just uh, a different story, much more mellow, much more relaxed, and it comes out in the speeches as well. People are lighter, looser, they drop an F-bomb here and there. Right. It's much more, uh, much more fun for the viewers as well. And that's why I think you, Seth MacFarlane, uh, is trying to capture a little bit of that for the Oscars yeah. this year. We'll see if it works for him. Well, we not only pay attention to um, the, the nominees, but we also pay attention to what they're wearing. Um, fashion is a huge part of the show. Um, from what I have read, it sounds like emerald green is supposed to be a big color this year. Um, John, what, what do you expect in terms of fashion? You know, I just don't want to see all the guys in black tuxedos. And I know Joan Rivers and her fashion police team love the guys in a traditional look, but I like when guys like Jamie Foxx and Ryan Seacrest and other people show up at the show and they shake things up a little bit. So I want to see the guys in color and then the women, you know, they can do what they want to do. And Bradley? As far as women are concerned, no one does it better than Sofia Vergara. I have to say, oh, yeah. ever since Modern Family's been on the air, she has just been blowing the fashion editors at Us Weekly away every time she's on a red carpet for an award show. She really works it. And also, don't forget from last year's Oscars what Angelina Jolie did for Legs Everywhere. So just one little move like that uh, with Angelina did actually it created a, a new Twitter feed, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, it has its uh, own Twitter you know, feed, Angelina it Jolie's had its own leg, Twitter. right? That's right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the fashion is, um, you know, more than half the fun as far as the editors of Us are concerned. That's what, what really, uh, it's what really matters, and we devote pages and pages to it. Yeah, that's what we, uh, we certainly look for that, uh, no question about it. Bradley Jacobs of Us Weekly and John Murray of AlwaysAList.com. Nice to see you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. And